Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Well, here I have it. The uh, LG V60. Okay, your old 5G stamp. Oh. Before I get into it, if you guys want to subscribe, you're more welcome to. Like the video if, if you want. Even leave a comment, well, if you want. My channel is dedicated to like this older technology, I guess you can say. So stuff that is not in production anymore is what I'm saying. So anyway, here it is. LG V60 Fin ThinQ 5G Ultra White. Yes, that's a heck of a long name. I, I it's way too long. So we're just gonna call it the V60. So what is it to know about this phone? Well, it's big. Like, it's huge. It's like 16 or 16. A 6.8 inch screen. Like, and all of it's right here. Okay. Under the display uh, fingerprint. Uh, it's got the 60 hertz, which is nice, but. Uh, from what I've been seeing, a lot of the complaints back in 2020, 60 hertz wasn't good enough. I mean, for me, it's okay. It does the job fine. Um, I do notice it in some aspects where it stutters a little bit, but it's not too bad. It It's manageable. So, it was released on March 20th of 2020, which was three years ago. Yeah, this is the three-year-old smartphone. It's crazy. And uh, got this continued April 5th of 2021, which, yeah, only lasted for about a year. So, let's see here. This I am getting 5G with this, which is nice. Um, I switched over my, uh, not my carrier, but my uh, phone plan. So, I get the, the ultra wideband, and I have yet to see that here while I love that. So, for the most part, I get 4G, LTE, and, and 5G. So, I don't know if there's supposed to be, like, a little logo. Like, right here. Like, for ultra-wide. I'm not sure. So, that's the confusing part. So, I might be getting ultra-wide. I might not be. I'm not sure. But, um... this Yeah, the screen is really nice. It's got really... Vivid colors. I can go in the settings and change all that. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Display. Uh, here we go. I can change the vivid. Cinema. I just have it on natural right now. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, some of the games I played on it. They worked fine. I've had it for about a week now, and I've been just using it throughout the entirety of it. Let's see here. Let's see what else specs I can pull up on my cheat sheet. <laughs> so, oh yeah, one that I do know off the top of my head. It does have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, which, for the time, that's what they're all using. All the high-end phones were using the 865 uh, Snapdragon chip. Works decent. Works really decent. So it's got the octa-core too. Let's see, octa-core 2.4 gigahertz gold prime, which I'm not super technical and I don't. I know what the CPU uses, but uh, this GPU is a Adreno 650, which that's about everything what everyone was using back in 2020. And then it's got 8 gigs of RAM, which, and again, a, a lot of them use that, but I think some had higher, but I'm not sure. So, that that color, though, here, <sighs> oof, it's so nice. Got a nice gold trim around it, too. I mean, it does have some dings on it when I got it. It's not too bad. It was actually in really nice shape, and I didn't even have to set it up, which is sad, but that's okay. So got the the hi-fi quad deck, which that thing sounds really nice. Micro USB-C, got your power button, volume up, 
down and that's your dedicated Google Assistant button. But I have that turned off because I, I don't need assistance. So yeah, there's your chipping and marking there. Another one there. And then another one right here. Yeah, I can vaguely feel it. So, there's that. And so this one has a uh, 128 gigabytes of storage, which is plenty enough. But then again, Androids, they t tend to have bloatware. Like LG software tends to have some bloatware. Oh, yeah. Got the double tap to wake, which is pretty cool. And it does have a micro, micro, oh uh, yeah, micro SD card slot. It's up to two terabytes, which that's very nice. Um, the battery size, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which it does really well, actually. Um, and no, I did not open this phone up. I don't have the skills to open up a phone. Computers is one thing. Phones, it's a little different. Let's see here. Right now I'm at 98%. So, yeah. So the battery life on this, it's pretty good. Um, I can get a good whole, a chunk of a day's use. I don't want to say whole day because the whole day is like 12 hours, but oh, my phone just notified me. Um. So, about, the best I got on this was about four and a half hours of screen on time. And I didn't have to charge it. And I don't think it'd even get on, uh, oh, what was it, like 30%? I wonder if I can go and check it here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Battery. Battery usage. So, right Oh, I can't go any farther. Dang. Okay, well, I didn't really use it much today. Um, I used my iPhone because I went to the gym and stuff. So, um, I did get about four and a half hours of screen on time uh, the other day, and then there was another day too. I was able to get that, which is nice. Put that in the center. Let's see what else we got here. Battery is non-removable, which is. Unfortunate, I suppose. I mean, today's society, that's this is the normal. Six, yep, I was right. 6.8 inch 1080p by 2460 display, which is pretty nice. It's got a P OLED display, which is not like your LCD or OLED. It's a little different than OLED, I think. P OLED. 395 pixels per inch, which is very nice. That camera, we'll talk about that. That's a good camera. It's got stereo speakers. It's got um, volume here and here. Got, hey, can't, can't bargain anymore for that. It's got the, well, we already know it's got the 3.5 headphone jack, but that's got the um, Hi-Fi quad deck, which is better. It sounds nice. I tried it myself too. So, DTS uh, surround sound, which that's pretty nice. Okay, so here we go with the camera. The, I don't want to talk about that camera. So the camera on here, it's got three. Can't, yeah, you got three cameras in there. Let's see, sixty-four megapixel, which is your standard. Let's see, dual pixel. So you got a thirteen meg megapixel super wide, and then you got a a telephoto, uh, which is. 0.3 megapixels which yeah it's that telephoto and then your front camera here that's a 10 megapixel either go oh yeah it does have google lens in here too which a lot of phones do now it's got the qualcomm quick charge which it does decent um i have a charger it does take some time to charge it though. I'm not gonna lie. I was at twenty percent. Um, I didn't. I don't. They didn't get the original charger when I bought this, which is sad. So, oh, I think did I say USB C on this? I think I did. I don't. 
Okay, well, it's got USB C. Okay. Um, so I have a, a spare uh, Motorola charger from my se actual second phone that I have, which I'll do a video on that because honestly, that video kind of, or not the video, but the phone kind of sucks. Like, it's a low budget one and it's pretty donkey. But I already did a factory reset on that. If you want to see a video on that, I might do one. But anyway, I, I've been using its charger with the, um, a spare uh, USB-C cord that I have in. From 20% to 100, it said it was about like almost two hours, which is crazy, but I don't think it took that long. Well, anyway, well, that's it for that. That's it for my cheat sheet. Hey, and I will admit, I do use a cheat sheet sometimes. But, yep. Yep, April 5th, 2021. That was a sad day for this phone. So, but yeah, that white in person is so nice. I don't know if you can really see it. There's like a little hue sometimes on the sides. And you can kind of see it. It's really nice. So, all right. So, let's go on the camera. Uh, here. We'll take a picture of that. I don't know if any of you guys like one piece. Yeah. Let me do it off side real quick. I took a picture. Right. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if you, I don't know how good this gets in, but it does pretty nice. Got some decent colors to it. So, I did take some more pictures here. Just, you know, your normal generic feet pick. So, this is like um, your normal uh, times one. Uh, oops. This is your um, times five. I think that's times ten. Um, I don't know if you can really notice, but it's really, like, uh, exploded. Like, the colors is, like, very bright for some strange reason. Like, on here, it's good, but here, it's, like, oof. It's, like, it, didn't look, it wasn't that bright in there. You can kind of tell from here. Just my feet, you know. So. Oh, and uh, another thing, too. Um, this can actually do 8K video. You got your, all your other ones, you got your 60 frames full, your 4K, and then you got your 8K. That 8K is actually, well, actually, uh, you can't really see the color. You, so this is one thing I had to do. Um, I had to actually, to get it to come out pretty good, because it's, it's dark, like, look how dark that is. But if I go into 4K, nice and bright. So what I did with this, I went under um, manual video here, then I went under 8K, but what I also did, I adjusted the brightness because I don't know if it's just, just because it is an 8K, but like it was like so dark you got your hdr 10 i don't know if it's something i did i'm not an expert on cameras but it's like and times 10 it really gets blurry anyway you can see that so that's the camera um Phone calls on this, uh, it's decent. It works good. So, oh yeah, just for a comparison, that's how big the phone is, and that's how big my tablet is. Yeah, that, that's a big phone. So, so one niggle or complaint I do kind of have, it's this, the fingerprint. 
So it works good right now, but yesterday when I was at work, I was trying to open my phone. I don't know if it's because my hands were dirty or something. That fingerprint would not work at all. Like it was just like so, I was like, oh man, my phone's gonna get locked out. So I typed in my pin. What I did was I uh, restarted the phone, but it didn't really work. So I uh, deleted the fingerprint and redid it again. And then it started working ever since. Very strange, very strange. I don't, I don't know if that's just a me problem or that's a general problem I had, but I always had kind of was skeptical about those the under display fingerprint scanners. I prefer, I miss the old uh, physical ones, like on the old iPhones or like the older uh, Androids. But they're all seem like they're going with the um, under display fingerprint. I like that background too. So, what are my thoughts on this phone? Well, I like it. It's, it's a good phone. This phone, what this phone does better than my 12 mini, it does a better optimization on switching between phone uh, towers. And what I mean by that is like, I'll do the same kind of test on my 12 mini. I've been doing it for a while. Like just for the mini, I how I notice it. But um, it would not want to switch over to 5G where this phone could, and it did it really well. This one would switch to 5G and then just kind of get stuck and won't switch back. And then just have like a really, it'd be very terrible uh, phone reception. I don't know if that's some kind of bug in the phone or what the deal is. I'm talking about on the 12 mini, not the uh, LG. The LG on the other hand, I can get 5G bars on this a lot, really good. And then when it can't receive it, it goes to 4G LTE. And uh, that works really good. So, but this phone is locked to, to Verizon. I don't know if it's because the mini is um just unlocked. I don't really know for a fact. But um, my overall opinions on this, I'll do a... A scoring I don't know what I'm gonna call it yeah I'll, I'll do a, some cheesy scoring like everyone else does but um comfort hmm. I get the comfort probably like a seven seven out of ten don't get me wrong here around here is very comfortable it, it curves inward so it makes it comfortable but the problem is well it's so freaking big and my look like yeah, I, I, I have baby hands. So I have to give it a seven because uh just because of the fact that um it's such a big phone. The camera, I give that a nine out of ten. There's definitely a lot better cameras in the time when this came out, but I feel like it does better than my iPhone. It's got the eight K, which is nice, but my girl don't really use it. Not really, but I just feel like it does certain things better, especially like manual camera and all that stuff. And um, the price on these, well, retail, these were about a thousand bucks, if I'm not mistaken, which that was a hefty asking price. But then again, the V series of phones, the LGs, that was like their top dog phone. The LG was like your traditional uh Let's say like iPhone 12. That was kind of like that. It was like the iPhone 12 and the V was like the Pro. That's basically what this is. But for now, how cheap you can get them since they're three years old, you can get them less than like 200 bucks, which I got this for about less than 200 bucks, which for what I got, it's really nice. Um, One more big thing. I'm going to have to descore it, but... Um, as far as what I was saying, I, oh, sh wow, I, I just forgot. Okay, it'll come back to me eventually. But, all right, so I'll just get on to um, one of the niggles I do have, or the complaint. That is the software. So, it's not the LG skin. I don't really have a problem with the LG skin, believe it or not. Uh, system updates. No, uh... I gotta figure out how to get in here. Hold on a sec. Uh, okay, you know what? 
I'll just talk about it since I know what it is. Um, this has not gotten uh, Android 13. And I've seen videos where they do get Android 13. This one does not. This one's only got the uh, Android 12. Their most recent security patch was in January of this year, which is decent, but I'm hoping this will get an Android 13 update. It's probably because of the Verizon carrier. I'm just going to put it up there. I think it's the Verizon carrier that the reason why this one specifically doesn't have 12. I've seen people that have them and has the 13. So this one does not, which is sad. But Android 12 is pretty good, but I don't know how long those security updates will go for. This might even be the last one I got on here right now. So with that being said, I'll give that a six, but oh, that's me being nice. I'll give it a six. Android 12 is good, but the security patches, it might, it might not get any more. So better than my uh, secondary phone that I have, my Motorola, that was uh, still on Android 11. And that, oh, that thing was dog slow. But um, price, I will give that a nine. Well, yeah, I give that a nine. The price is solid for what you get. It's a lot of bang for your buck for the price it is. But would I recommend it? That's the big one. A lot of people will probably tell you yes or no. In my uh, general idea, I have to think on this one a little bit. I want to say meh, like right in the middle, and I'll tell you why. Depends on which one you get. You won't have the newest Android update. But like I said, this one does have the the security update from this one. So, yeah. I, I'm just having, it's been a long day. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, so this phone, I won't, like middle road, I won't recommend because, well, like I just said, the uh, Android 12 and then the uh, security update from uh, this year. I, I don't know if it'll get a, another one and if it does get another security update i'll boost it up to like an eight but right now as it stands a six uh build quality i give that a nine that's a nice build quality in my opinion the under display fingerprint i give that like a seven out of ten the, all these are out of tens but i give that like a seven because face id works really well but I miss fingerprint, the fingerprint sensors. But this one, I, mm, uh, I'm not really feeling it. I mean, I, you'll get used to it after a while, but you get those times where they don't work, possibly. But I don't know. I could be thinking like an old timer on the older stuff, I guess, because I miss those fingerprints, fingerprint sensors. So it it really depends on what what you're looking for. If you want to save some money, this is a good phone to go for. You get all kinds of stuff. Um, for less than 200 bucks, good phone. So it, it's um buyer beware kind of deal where if, you, if you're in the market for a good phone that's not brand new, but that's going to do a lot better than, well, like your cheap budget phones or your mid-grade phones. This one right here would, I, I mean, I would, I would get it. I mean, I do have one, so, but I would choose this over like your budget phone because flagships from three years ago to like budget phones of now, even sooner, like they're, they're still not out there. They're still sluggish as heck. So you can't go wrong with 200 bucks on this phone. And I honestly, I think I'm about to do it. This is my overview on this phone. I like it. And you're probably going to wonder when I'm going to do it. Yeah. You're probably going to wonder when I'm going to do the next video. I don't know because all this is, none of this is sponsored. This is all me. I'm going out behind these and making videos on them. But my next phone, it might be another LG. I'm not really sure, but I guess we'll find out when I do. But I'll give, I'll probably create a playlist I want to do all the V phones, 
the V10 to the V60 all here to show. That's what I really want to do. But there's obviously going to be big differences. But anyway, I'll stop rambling. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day, hopefully. And I hope you guys like this video. And then maybe you subscribe if you like this cheesy content. So, yeah. You guys have an awesome day and stay safe.